In the last episode, I finished the Apex display and tested the Apex system, finished the ceiling panels, finished the sump cover, finished the ceiling lighting system, and finally received the phone call I have been waiting for for over four months. In this episode, I will unbox and drill holes in the tank I've only had in my possession for less than an hour, redo the top of the cabinet, and prep the glass overflow for installation. guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this tank. Uh, November 7th, I bought it from the first distributor. So like I was saying, I ordered the tank on November 7th of 2019. Yeah, it's taken a while to get here and I've actually purchased the tank four different times through four different stores and talked to, I think it was seven distributors, like directly talked to the distributors. Well, finally here. And I went with a low boy frag tank. And so now that I finally have this tank in place, um, I can start with the overflow section, uh, drill the glass, um, install the plumbing. And also now that I have the dimensions for everything, I can um, start making the doors for the cabinet. And I needed the tank in place because I needed to know how tall this actually was, this measurement here. So from the ground, I can now measure the door that will come up to this point so you won't even see this black part it'll just be a, a front fascia covering all of that So since my local glass company did such a great job on the sump baffles, I uh, decided to go with them again. What I got this time is the glass for the overflow section. And the measurements are 8 and 3 eighths high and 14 across. And that will go right into this section. Something like that. And it fits perfectly. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to temporarily mount the glass baffle in place with some blue tape. So it's not gonna be exactly perfectly in place, but close enough. So right there. There, just for extra measure. So, as you can see, I have this much room to work with when it comes to an overflow pipe. Uh, this is the bottom of the overflow pipe, and this is the top. So, what I need to do is I need to find the center of here and it should look something like that once it's installed so i want the center from this point 
that point and that point and that'll tell me what the center is so the overflow should be somewhere around there but just bumped up a little bit higher and so with the glass removed and the whole template taped into place and where the overflow will be mounted now it's just time to flip this thing over very carefully all right so that's where i need to drill the hole and so what i'm doing now is i'm just taking some half inch um, mdf and drilling a hole through it and once i mark the hole size that i need i just cut that out with a jigsaw And then just give that a light sanding. And once I have my template ready, you'll notice that it is bigger than the hole I need to cut. And when I'm ready to drill this out, I'll show you exactly why. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, I taped the edges of the wood where the wood meets the glass with blue tape. So when I put water inside of here, it just helps it from leaking out as much. It'll still leak out, but not as much. And also since I'm drilling from the bottom, when the piece of glass does fall and it's not going to hit any glass or anything like that so nothing will break. with you this is the second hole I've ever drilled the first one what wasn't that great <laughs> uh, it didn't crack the glass or anything but um yeah as you can probably tell by my voice I'm extremely extremely anxious right now <laughs> I've been waiting four months or so for this tank and the uh, last thing I want to do is crack it yeah but um there's the first hole Perfect, perfect spot. And while I was at it, I also finished up the back hole. Oh. 
actually starting to make some progress here. And also real quick, um, I bought these bits off Amazon. I think they were like 14 or $16. I don't, I don't know. I'll include a price somewhere and I'll include a link too. But um, anyway, review coming soon. So now I just got to clean up the tank, uh, get my piece of glass and silicone that into place. But I'm glad I got this stuff done now because today we are supposed to get some winter storm warnings and it is 39 degrees. So if you're asking when can you actually drill glass if it's too cold or too hot, I did this in 39 degree weather and tomorrow it is supposed to start snowing its butt off. So um, I'm gonna put this project on hold until the snow's gone. And um, I'm going to call it a day today. Just got back out of Home Depot with some more plumbing supplies and a new piece of MDF wood for the top of the cabinet. So I'm not exactly sure what happened here. Um, maybe from temperature. I know this top piece of wood is uh, really thin, but it's actually started to warp in some areas. So I'm going to remove this and add a much well, not much thicker, but a thicker piece of MDF. And I already know one of the problems that's gonna happen. Um, I did liquid nail this in place, so this might have to be completely redone. So that actually wasn't hard at all to get off. Uh, came right off. So that is a good thing. So now I'm gonna put my new piece in place. And then I just have to trim it out and cut it. And that'll be a much sturdier base. As you can tell, the height difference between the wood, it's almost triple. So I'll feel a lot better with that. But the unfortunate thing is, and I know you guys will love it, but I have to paint the inside and also cut out the overhead. tank on top. I can just mark the overflow hole. And so the next thing I'm working on is, have you ever seen an overflow? Usually they're black. And since my overflow is just going to be glass, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the edges and then apply the same Aquascape Pro caulk to the back side and then when I put it in the tank this piece of glass will magically turn black. I'm doing this just because I don't want to see through the glass and see the overflow and whatever is growing on the back side. I just want the front of it to be black. <laughs> All the tape has been applied. As you can see, this is gonna be the top. It's a really thin layer, but I just wanna make sure nothing gets on the edge of this. So 
Now we'll just give it a good wipe. Make sure our surface is ready for caulk to be applied. And now I'm ready to lay down some caulk. Since this is the top of my overflow, bottom and the sides, when the water comes over, what I'm doing now is just making sure that the water has a place to travel down. Because if I leave my lines this way, it may make noise, I'm not quite sure. But as a just in case, I'm gonna make my lines go down. Hopefully it'll stay silent. And now what I'm gonna do is I've marked this where the overflow hole is and I'm going to cut out that big line. And now for that moment you've all been waiting for because you haven't gotten enough of my painting skills. It's time to paint. Except my brush in this paint <laughs> seems to be a little frozen, but oh well, here we go. More paint. So I hope everyone's enjoying the videos so far. After this, I'm just gonna let a piece of glass overflow dry. And of course, I'm gonna let this paint dry. And then I'm going to call it a day. I'll catch you guys next week. That's a wrap. In the next episode, I will mount the glass overflow, paint the tank, and start installing the plumbing. I hope you are enjoying the video. And if you are, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and a great way to support the channel.